Hello and welcome to the Zeiss Iowa Master 700 tutorial video. In this video we will be covering IOL management, which includes lens constant database and manual entry. Let's first have a look at how we obtain IOL information, such as names, delivery ranges or constants via the Zeiss IOL database. This database is available in two ways from a USB drive that is delivered with every IWAL Master or via the Zeiss IWAL Master 700 website in the link below. The Zeiss IWAL database contains information on Zeiss and many other manufacturer IWALs. Please ensure that the IWAL information matches the user preferences. To import the Zeiss IWAL database, insert the USB drive into the IWAL Master. Now on the IWAL Master screen, log in as Administrator. Go to Settings, the Spanner icon, then Advanced Settings, IWAL Management, then tap on Start ULIB Import. Please read and agree to the disclaimer before importing the IWAL database. Tap on I agree. Select the physician multiple selection is possible, and tap OK. Select the respective region for import from the drop-down box or tap on Import All function. There is also option to import by IOL manufacturer only or by individual IOL. Tap Import when database or IOLs are selected. A report will be shown once the import has been completed. Tap close to finish. Although automatic import is more convenient, there may be cases where you want to manually enter an IOL that is not on the Zeiss IOL database. To manually enter a non-toric IOL, log in as the physician you would like to add the lens to. Go to settings, spanner icon, advanced settings, IWAL Management and tap on Start Lens Manager. Tap Add IOL. Here fill in the respective fields for the IWAL information. If the IWAL constants are not available, enter the A constant. Tap on Calculate Constants for the IWAL Master to automatically generate the other respective constants. Select Spherical for non-toric IWALs. Tap on the delivery range. Enter the delivery range for the non-toric IOL. Then tap close to finish. To manually enter a toric IOL, follow the same steps in the lens manager. However, in the IOL parameters category, select toric. For the ref power reference notation, select SE or SPH accordingly that is spherical equivalent or sphere. Please note manufacturers use different formats, spherical refractive power or spherical equivalent on their labels when describing the refractive power of toric IOLs. If this is the case, clarify with the manufacturer of toric IOLs which power notation would be used. Tap on delivery range. Keep in mind for cylinder range, this does not refer to the astigmatism correction range on the cornea plane. It refers to the cylinder availability range on the lens plane according to the respective IOL manufacturer. First delete the pre-populated default settings by tapping the bin icon. Now enter the delivery range for the toric IOL. Let's demonstrate this with an example. So first enter the SE range for the first delivery range. For example, plus six to plus 32. Enter the SE increment accordingly. For example, plus 0.50 diopters. Set the cylinder format to range. Enter the cylinder range, for example, one to one. Enter the cylinder increment accordingly, in this case, one diopter. Then click on Add. See this toric eye wall appear in the list below. 
In the label field, type in the name. For example, T2. Let's add the next delivery range for this Torek IOL. You must override each field by tapping on the small cross. Again, enter the SE range for the second delivery range. For example, plus 6 to plus 32. Enter the SE increment accordingly. For example, plus 0.50 diopters. Set the cylinder format to range. Enter the second cylinder range, for example, 1.5 to 1.5. Enter the cylinder increment accordingly. In this case, 0.5 diopter. Then click on Add. See this Torek IOL appear in the list below. In the label field, type in the name, for example, T3. Let's do one more example where there is an inconsistent cylinder range to the previous. Again, you must override each field by tapping on the small cross. Again, enter the SE range for the third delivery range. For example, plus 6 to plus 32. Enter the SE increment accordingly. For example, plus 0.50 diopters. Set the cylinder format to range. Enter the third cylinder range, for example, 2.25 to 2.25. Enter the cylinder increment accordingly, in this case 0.75 diopter. Then click on Add. Again, see this Torek IOL appear in the list below. In the label field, type in the name, for example, T4. Continue to enter all the delivery ranges for the Torek IOL as required. Once completed, tap on Close, ensure to save, and tap on Close to return to the main settings menu. Please refer to the quick guide on manual entry of Torek IOLs for examples. So that concludes the Zeiss IOL Master 700 IOL management. Here are the top three things to keep in mind. Auto import allows for fast and effective import of IOL data. If your IOL of choice is not available in the database, there is an option for manual entry. Availability of IOLs and their respective delivery ranges and step sizes can vary regionally or can be updated over time. We recommend to always contact your IOL manufacturer when you update IOLs to verify correctness. Check all automatically and manually entered IOL parameters carefully as a user are responsible for correct entry. Always remember you can simply access the user manual by tapping on the question mark icon. Thank you for watching.